Well, that should be recording. Actually, it should have recorded quite a lot. To cut all that off. You might think, well, that's not Beaky. Nope. That's a 2009 G650 GS, so obviously a thumper with lowered suspension. I think a low seat. And it's Chris's. And she's just starting out. She don't like my hills. So, what we're doing is, we're gonna ride up to the mall. This mall's a good shopping mall, you know, parking lot. And then I'm gonna get her car, come right back here. It's not far away from me. And uh, get Beaky, go up there, and we're gonna do some practicing around and there's a good part about malls is they have not really roads but they have sort of roads in them with a little bit of traffic and you get to negotiate all that there she comes I just rigged up the uh, helmet cam for this, and I uh, hadn't had it on for a while and all that, so, you know, it's almost like every time I put it on, I rig it up there. So the wire's running up front, and uh, the microphone, the inline microphone, is sort of right from my mouth. It's a windy day, and I got my uh, normal length beard, aka wind damp, in this tight little helmet, so I'm kind of hoping the audio will work out okay, but I'm not really sure. I'm wearing it on the outside of my jacket and this little uh, harness thing they sell for it, which has proved really handy when Chris uh, used the thing during the uh, a mud run thing she went to, which she had it completely underwater and completely hosed in mud and everything. And the camera held up fine. Never, never once a shaky image with a bang or whatever, which there were plenty. So, at any rate, well, like I said, this is Chris's first round with motorcycles. She's never really been around them before, and uh, she got the fever. No, I didn't push her. So we got this one which fit her height which is important it's used we got it at Gateway BMW in St. Louis I always feel like I have to pedal it off because it's so small compared to what I'm now used to um, It's actually an incredibly well-balanced bike. It's easy to ride. Uh, it's very smooth on the throttle. Look how high my knees are, though. So I'm a big guy on a little bike. I'm 6'2", so I do feel a little bit well, like a big guy on a little bike. The bike doesn't care. And uh, it's amazingly well-balanced. Standing on this bike is real easy. 
Um, I haven't rid this, rode this thing but for a handful of miles, and I learned new bikes poorly, I always figure. So, <clears throat> that's beautiful. I mean, it's a very easy bike. Anybody, really, should uh, find it as a great starter bike. Fun, lightweight bike. City, off-road. I mean, I, I'm really starting to understand why it, it's so popular. Doo -doo. I'm not entirely comfortable with them. I'm always real cautious with new bikes, so I'm leaving big gaps. But I always do that anyway. There's a girl. At any rate, she's been having fun with it. Yesterday, uh, we did this, and we did a lot of uh, walking starts and, you know, power walking it and all that. And uh, it's 50 miles an hour, I'm not sure how bad the wind is, a crosswind today is it's pretty windy, so you may not be able to hear any of this. Anyway, we did some walking starts and all that, and um, she was getting it, getting it, getting it, and then finally she started rolling on it, and once she did that, you know how it is on those learning curves, you get over a little bit of a hump, and uh, next thing you know, uh, you're just, you know, tootling right along, so it was near the end of the day, and she was sort of stressy, exhausted, but she did a couple circuits like they were normal subdivisions, that kind of stuff, so, and she had a problem shifting, it was almost impossible for her to shift, so the shifter was low enough, and her foot is narrow enough, and um, her boot is stiff enough that she can only tilt her foot down so far, um, so that was proving to be a problem. Last night I pulled it off and adjusted it up about one click and uh, had it on the center stand and uh, had her shifting around with her boots on it there and I think uh, I think that'll really get it going for her. So, oop, my turn. That used to be key. You can just ease the clutch out and go. You don't even need throttle. Not that I think this bike is uh, underpowered in any way. Because I don't. I hope it sounds right. It's kind of thumpy. That's how thumpers are. Such a cute little bike. Alright. I'm going to take her car. And go get Beaky.